Hi guys, this is Dr. Aeronautics. Welcome back to Norsdenland. This is a uh, special episode of sort of in-between stuff. Uh, as you can see, we're up at 13,000 or so feet. Um, and are heading east from up at the end of line 5, Tundra Gate, and uh, we just are in the process of placing airports because there's more and more airplanes. So I decided to put up a number of airports around Norsten Land with runways long enough for multiple types of airplanes. So I can uh, start off by calling the ones that we've done, and uh, actually the only one that we haven't done is the one we're doing now, which is uh, Comstock Regional. So, uh, the very first airport to go up was New Venice International, which has two runways. Uh, and then we did Buzzacunjur Beach International. Then I did Westport International. And then after that, was Stardun Rise Center, which isn't a legitimate uh, passenger carrying airport. Uh, it's mainly a research facility. So then, um, I guess Riverton National would have been the next one that we did. Uh, it's a airport halfway in between. Uh, New Venice and Westport for a little bit of uh, rest stop with several things. We've actually just now passed over the North Bay uh, full of oil geysers as I can see below. Uh, and then we did Aus International so we have another international airport again between the two and north of Riverton so that we have a core box with areas halfway between the two. Then I flew up north, actually no I didn't, I flew down south to Gigopolis to do Gigopolis International and then the final airport that I did before coming here was went all the way up to the end of line five uh, to Tundra Regional and that had one short runway which was very difficult. Uh, it got nestled in between two cliffs and oh my gosh, what happened to the frame rate? Kind of um, messed up there. And the last one we're doing now, we're, we're flying over to Comstock. We're going to do Comstock Regional, which will have... Oh, I think I know where the lag is coming from. Yes, it's sundown. That's bad timing. Uh, Comstock Regional will feature one runway going north and south that is 5,500 feet long or in the scale of the airports uh, 28 meters long and four meters wide. Wow. Not sure what's causing this terrible frame rate. Uh, you know, it might be because I've actually never been... I think we're actually generating chunks, which means I have to be incredibly careful. Uh, because... Yeah, I'm going to have to slow down. Uh, the thing with generating chunks is I've never been here before. So land, or sea rather, is being generated. And that's really dangerous when you're in an aircraft because if you lag out too much, you'll disconnect from the control station and fall out of your aircraft. And uh, it will keep going on and you'll basically lose it. So we have to be very careful and try to avoid that by slowing down, which makes the journey more long and uh, irritating.
So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video until I see that we've come over the other side. So I will see you guys then. So we're not too long after um, when I paused it when I spotted land. So we've actually just crossed it. And we're now descending uh, because directly in front of us is Comstock. And unfortunately, it's going to be the middle of night when we get down there. So I've just braked the... Uh, break the airship and we're going to descend to about 75 meters and that's where we will wait out the rest of the night. Eight, seven, six, whoops. 78 is just fine. All right, we're gonna park the craft now. Uh, that wasn't supposed to happen. Okay, and my frame rate should have come up because we're no longer moving nor generating chunks, and it has not. So that is actually making me quite angry. Won't you tell Dr. Aeronautics what's taking so much darn memory? That's not good. Uh, apparently it's render, and render is very bad because render is basically the amount of memory that you need to load the landscape, and uh, I hope it's because there's thousands of mobs down there, but uh, that's going to be a problem. Anyway, uh, hopefully that will go away when they burn in the morning, and I will see you guys then. Okay, so it's day now. And, uh, okay, so here's the thing. When I'm recording, render takes up 55% of the mem memory, and when uh, I'm not, then game renderer is. And uh, it's really driving me crazy, because it's going to make it difficult to fly and crap. So basically, uh, it works like this. We're going to um, leave the craft on board the airplane. And then we're going to fly, find somewhere flat to land, like this. Set the craft down. and look for a flat area that is 28 meters long in this case which I believe right here works and it's going to be a north-south runway and we're actually right below Comstock so that's perfect so we'll go ahead and make one end of the runway here and this will be runway 36 so just like that and then we go 28 meters forward and then we make the other end of the runway, which is runway 18. And there you have it, and it, it's going to be four wide. And this runway is going to be very easy. There have been some runways when I've had to um, etch away at the land or channel or even in some cases just fill in a whole bunch of land um, with runway so that I could put it down because not everything is flat like this. There have been some cases where it was very difficult to put stuff down. So just like that, I mean this runway will, will pretty much be finished very quickly. Okay, so then two lights at one runway threshold, two lights at the other runway threshold, and then we remove the waypoints. And now we're done. So I'm going to go ahead and take off now and uh, pause the video, and I will see you guys on the way back where we're going to talk about something else we're going to do this episode.
So here we are high in the air near New Venice, and uh, I'm actually going to begin the descent right now. Uh, so, the other thing that we're going to do today. Someone called me and told me that every time they went above fourteen to 15,000 feet, they got a headache and then got dizzy, and even in some cases, almost went to sleep. So, um, I was wondering about this. And I myself decided to go up to 14 or 15,000 feet. And uh, basically the same thing happened to me too. So what I've done as a science experiment, since everyone else I've talked to also says that it... Oh my gosh! It happened. Okay. Um, so the lag out that I was talking about happened. And uh, very quickly we need to do something... Um, it's cheated, therefore I've given my permission to use creative mode, and we have to do that before I hit the ground. Okay, so that was the glitch that I was talking about uh, happening. You can see we just randomly fell out of the craft over New Venice, and um, that was very critically bad. And so what I ended up doing is copying and pasting... Uh, into the chat and I literally could not have been a second closer uh, to falling to my death so I was able to save that glitch um, really quickly so let's try and resume flight and this better not happen again because it's I've gone all this time without there being any problem whatsoever, flown all the way around Norriston Land, made that map and everything, all without a single issue of falling out of the craft. And then we've just done it there, um, glitched by the mod. So, okay, now that that's over, now that I, w I was saying, as a science experiment, I decided to uh, go ahead and take a water bottle, and uh, using the water bottle, I would... Okay, let's get this right. Don't make me fall out of the craft. Okay, perfect. Uh, so I took this water bottle, and I sealed it at the ground. And then I went all the way up to 14,000 feet to where I started to get dizzy. And um, then when I opened it, it was like opening a soda can. It just kind of went... <laughs> so uh, that told me that there was less air, and then I did, the, I did the opposite on the way down. So to test it, it got compressed. I let all of the air out uh, until it reached equilibrium. What in the world is wrong with this game? like every glitch that could possibly go wrong is going wrong there's there's rendering issues the frame rate is low I fell out of something I'm lagging like crazy I'm getting very angry so um, and it's not this which is what I might have thought and I opened the bottle at sea level, or no, I didn't open it, but uh, as I went down, I noticed that the bottle started to become crushed, like someone was squeezing it. And it was the air inside um, being crushed by the increasing atmospheric pressure. So, what we have to do is bottle air and bring it up with us. Uh, and, oh shoot, I forgot to empty the chest in the airship of crap. Shoot. Oh, well, we'll have to do that next time. So, what we're going to have to do is put together a special oxygen system that allows us to take air with us and breathe it while we're on board. So, I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of the stuff down and then we'll handle that issue. Okay, so, what are we going to need for that? Well, the first thing that we're going to need is um, a mask to put over the face to keep the air inside. So we're going to need a helmet for that and then we'll have to cover it over with glass. Uh, the next thing that we're going to need 
is um, some tubing to take the air that would be stored in a tank to um, the mouth. And the way we're going to do this is by creating glass tubes uh, to carry them along an oxygen pipe and a uh, regulating device which will output the air at just the perfect pressure that we need to breathe. Uh, and thankfully we're going to need steel. Um, thanks to the railroad we have lots of steel. Um, the last thing we're going to need is a tank to store, all, actually not the last thing, but one of the last things we're going to need is a tank to store all of this air in. And um, we're going to do that with uh, a couple tin canisters, uh, creating an oxygen tank with some tin and uh, some wool to help filter the air. And then the final thing we're going to need is a machine that will actually compress all of this um, air from the atmosphere into uh, a compressor into the tank. And I believe a compressor is what we need, but I'll actually have to check with the scientists on that one. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and make a list of this stuff that we're going to need, and then we'll get to work. Okay, so some of it's pretty complex, so we're going to do everything except two machines on screen, and then I'll have to do those off screen. So we're going to start with the windmills. Um, of course, not pressing the I button, because that brings about that stupid mod. Okay, so we need to start with the enriched alloys. I believe we need 12. So we'll go ahead and put those together. And start these smelting. So those are going. Uh, while those are going, we can go ahead and make four of these energy tablets, which means we can't do them yet. Okay. How about the control circuit? Uh, there should be enough time now that we can do the second control circuit. Perfect. And we need, oh, wrong one. Now we got it. Okay, eight, uh, wait, eight? No. Yeah, eight in total. Okay. Got two control circuits. Meanwhile, check up on the steel, make sure we have enough there. and start moving stuff around to put it together. Shoot, we're going to run out of space. Okay, well those slots aren't used. Only two are needed there. I'm going to off screen the rest of the windmills because this is going to take way too long. Okay, we can move on to the oxygen pipe now. And uh, we're going to need. Looks like eight of these. So there we go, we got eight oxygen pipes. So that's done. Next, we're going to need. like about seven copper wire. That's done. Now we need an oxygen mask. So we need a iron helmet and then we have to surround it in glass panes. Got the oxygen mask. Now the oxygen gear which is about five steel and 13-ish tin. Good, we got an oxygen vent. I think that's part of it. What am I making again? Oxygen gear. Okay. 
yes, the vent is part of it. So we're going to make the vent. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's like see-through. A lot of these parts are high res, which is pretty cool. Okay, and then the tin canister. It's kind of stupid. It should be knocked off at the top so that no air can escape, but whatever. It's just a game. Okay, um... 310. Got the concentrator. And here is the oxygen tubes. Okay, so the oxygen tank is quite simple. So we're going to get two tin canisters here. Two orange wool at the top, two tin at the bottom, and here is our oxygen tank. And now we're at the hard part. The um, We do need one more machine. Uh, I am using an oxygen compressor, which compresses the oxygen, but apparently for some reason uh, you also need a filter called an oxygen collector um, for you to like filter out the nitrogen so I guess we're gonna be breathing pure oxygen through the tubes but that's okay so I'm gonna get started there okay so I've got everything um, the recipes were not kind to the resources so all we need now is a room uh, with wind access uh, to put this equip set this equipment up um, and it really actually should be near an airport uh, I'm still deciding on whether or not I want to put it at an airport or not I think eventually that might be a good idea, um, but for now I actually think we should just stick to one of our roofs. So I'm going to put it on the roof of the train building. Or not, because it doesn't have roof access. Alright, I'm going to have to find a roof with roof access. I actually just realized I have an open area on my roof, so I think I'm just going to put the machines up there. I'm hoping... Well, I shouldn't hope. Actually, I should, because I'm hoping that I won't get sick of the windmills just going after a while. Okay, so this is where we ought to build the machines. Windmills should face the west. Actually, I'm going to put them up here the way you have to orient stuff. Okay, so the windmills are down. Next we're going to need some of these. May have a fitting issue here. solve the problem really easily. I just decided to run the things off the roof. Next thing we're going to need is the collector. And this should power up and begin collecting oxygen. Good. It is collecting oxygen. And then we're going to need a compressing device. Why didn't you hook up? Maybe 
maybe we ought to flip the two around. Actually, that's kind of funny how it did. All right, let me look at this again. Okay, so I just decided to reverse sides. I guess that's fine. So just put the... Okay, now I'm really confused. Stupid idea trying to put it on my roof. I'm gonna just make it at the airport. That's what it's for. Okay, so runway three is here, which means the terminal building is probably going to be around here. So if I build it on this side over here, it shouldn't interfere with anything. So let's start putting stuff down. Meanwhile, we're actually at the ocean now. So, um, the wind reverses direction, so the windmills are actually going to go up here. Good, we have power. And let's put these guys down and figure out where the heck they want their power. Ah, okay, I know how to do this. No problemo. So we want that one there, and this one there. And then we just use three pipes. Good. Okay. So it looks like we have power and everything else. So without anything else, let's put the tank in and see if we start getting air. Oh my gosh, there it goes. We're compressing air into a tank. Okay, how are the windmills doing? Well, the windmills are slightly losing power, uh, which isn't a very good sign. Hopefully this will fill before these run out of power. If not, we may need a third windmill, which would be rather irritating. Now all we have to do is house this up in a nice building. I'm going to pause the thing while I do the floor. Okay, floor is done. Then we're going to revert for wood for the rest of this. Actually, we'll go ahead and make it symmetrical. Get some windows in.
we're going to have a slightly uh, peaked roof. Perfect, the tank has already filled. Excellent news. Okay, well, um, that just about wraps up uh, everything that I wanted to do this episode, except maybe build a door to this building and put two torches down. So now we have a way to go above uh, 15,000 feet and still be able to breathe. So. I thank you guys for joining me, and I will see you guys next time uh, for the building of the F-104 Starfighter. Oh yeah, that's my plane. I will see you guys next time.